Hey, what is up guys? Bonds here. Today I'm making a super fire trap beat in KOFA Band Lab. As you can see, something's got moved around in my room. My bed is now right directly behind me, even though it used to be over there a little bit. So basically we just moved the bed across the room and I think it looks a lot nicer now. I'm actually going to do a little bit of a room tour in a little while because I've changed my room set up in like four different times since I moved into this house. But anyway, you're not here for the room tour. You're here for the beat. So let's just get into the beat. Let's get into it. Woo! So as you can see, we're using headphones now. I'm gonna be going through some plug-in recommendations in this video um, because honestly, you don't really need that much, but I really wanna show you what I'm using right now so you guys can kinda get a good sense into my workflow. So I'll just get into it. I think I'm gonna do some plucky kind of things with this Pandora. So I'm just gonna do kind of fast stuff. So let's go to like 160 beats per minute. Something like that. And then I'll loop that one little thing over a little bit. And then let's do that. And then I'm gonna loop that thing over and then then I'll loop this little guy over and then you go like that. That's kind of cool. I like that. So let me just kind of show you a couple things I was working on that melody. Whenever I placed a note, I was holding alt while I was clicking and that made me place a note. And whenever I duplicated a section, I selected it by holding right click and dragging and then hit control D and automatically copies. Now I'm gonna drag in a halftime plugin. Um, halftime actually has a really cool system where you can have a demo version and you can just use it as a normal halftime. And then I'm gonna add a little drip on here. Literally two clicks. And then I'm gonna drag on a reverb plugin, which is for Hall Supermassive. And this plugin just has so many amazing options. I'm gonna use a chorus effect on here. Ooh, nice. And then I'll drag another one on and I'll use their um, medium sized forward reverb plugin. I think I'm gonna add some one shots to this to have a little bit more movement to the sound. I'm gonna drag on some of the same effects. I'm gonna add like a synth sound maybe. I gotta be careful though to not add too many sounds in the same frequency range. If I have span on the master channel, here's what it looks like. If so if I'm gonna add anything to this melody, it's gotta be like above 3k hertz. That's nice. That's something to do. That's uh, A flat. I put this way up. Dun 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 dun. that I'm also gonna add a little bit of gliding to the sound like that
I'm drawing two Hyettes, just like that. Turn one of the bossies way up, and we just copy that around. I like that a lot. I'm try I'm what I'm doing is I'm like accenting the snare hits with little rolls. So That's really cool. That's nice. I think we need to have less hits on the kick drum and the 808. And then just copy that little guy over. Okay, so this beat is coming along pretty nicely, um, but it's the mixing between the melody and the drums that isn't just sitting right. Not really sure what it is, but something is really off. Sounding so much cleaner. Yeah, something like that. Just to kind of have some like cool accents on the right beats. That's nice. That's nice. So we're just gonna loop that little guy. Something like that. Okay, I'm gonna try something for this. I, mean, I had a low drop this time. I wanna try something that is just a little bit unique. I'm gonna have an interesting like um, drum pattern right at the beginning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete the second, third, and fourth quarter note on the drum pattern. And then I'm gonna take the first quarter note of the drum pattern and I'm gonna duplicate it over three times. Ooh, that's kinda cool. I wonder if that's gonna sound good on our melody too or if it's not gonna sound as good. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm also gonna look and see if I can find like a whoosh, like a crash kind of symbol thing. Like that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We can copy that down. Nice. That that little crash that really ties it all together. Nice. 
Let me know what you think about this new whoa my hair <laughs> should probably just keep my headphones on anyway i have two videos every single week one on sunday one on thursday um subscribe for both of those also i have a discord server link in the description um we just hit 310 members which is ridiculous like 310 members so it might be too late if you're seeing this now but my beat contest ended today at midnight so from the time this minute video is coming out you have 12 hours to make your beat 12 hours is enough to make the beat but you have to check out the other video for the details on how to do that contest also i just want to let you know that i'm planning on doing bi-weekly beat contests on my discord server um just for the fun of having beat contests anyway i'll see you guys later see you guys later Woo!